Here's a famous baby, Stephen, son of Mrs. Ellen Moore, who bore him after 169 days in a deep freeze coma. Her husband and father helped Mrs. Moore into the car, her first drive for a long time, for she's been in hospital for just over a year. Mrs. Moore already has one son, two-year-old Paul. When she was taken to hospital with severe brain injuries, death seemed certain. But by reducing her temperature to 86 degrees for nearly six months of unconsciousness, doctors saved her and Stephen, who is staying with an aunt till mother is fully fit. That he lives at all is a medical miracle. Two more miracle babies are Sylvia and Yvonne, twin daughters of Mr. and Mrs. Amos of Harlow Newtown. Their miracle was not their birth, but their upbringing. For their parents, who deal with them so expertly, are both blind and have never seen their bonny children. Bath time, so the sensitive fingers of Bill Amos tells him. He lost his sight 16 years ago, but you'd have to watch very closely to see that he's any different from other fathers. In fact, of course, like most blind people, all he asks is to live a normal life. And he seems pretty good at it. Mind you, even for the most normal family, twins can be a bit of a handful. But this family seemed to take it all in their stride. Mrs. Lillian Amis has been blind since she was 12. And her great fear was that the children might inherit blindness. But happily, their sight is perfect. Any parent will tell you that mixing dried milk is a tricky enough job, even when you can see. Our cameraman had difficulty in telling the twins apart. How do you manage it, he asked. It's easy, Bill Amos told him. They sound quite different. Mm -hmm. 